Grade 3, Math, Lesson 11, Associative Property of Addition. We've talked about the identity property and the commutative property. This is the associative property. It says that you can group add-ends in different ways and still get the same sum. It's also called the grouping property. What are add-ends? Add-ends are the numbers that you add together to get the sum. Those are add-ends. Okay, so let's take a look at our little people here. If the pink one is 8 years old, and the purple one's 12 years old, and the blue one is 5 years old, see, they're associates. Associates are people you work with or people that you hang around with. Okay, so it's like they're friends. If this is their ages and you added up their total ages, you could say 8 plus 12 plus 5, or you could say 12 plus 5, and then add the 8 last because you do what's in the parentheses first. Which way would be easier to add? Now, if you remember compatible numbers from our other video, adding the 12 and the 8 together first would be the easiest because 2 and 8 is 10, and that 10 makes it 20. Then you just add the 5 and get 25. If you added these two together, you'd get 17, and then you'd have to add 8. So the top one would be the easier way. So the associative property can help you add quicker. You'll still get the same sum. It just depends on how you group it. That's why it's called the grouping property. So let's take a look at this one. Which way would be easier to add? You know it's going to be the same amount. They're going to equal the same thing. Is it easier to add it the 16 and the 7 and then add the 23? Or is it easier to add the 7 and the 23 and then the 16? Well, you know what? 7 and 3 makes 10, and 2 more 10s would be 30. Then you just add the 16. What's 30 and 16? It's 46. So you know what? This is the easier way. But we know that the top one would also equal 46. It's just the bottom one would be easier to add, wouldn't it? That's the associative property. It doesn't matter which numbers you group together, they're still going to equal the same thing. How about this one? Which one would be the easiest to add together first? 13 plus 26 first or 26 plus 54 first? Look at the ones. 6 and 4 makes 10. And 5 more 10s would be 60. And 2 more would be 70, 80. So now we have 80 plus 13. What's that? 93. What if we were to add these together first? You'd have 6 and 3 is 9 with another 10. So that's 19 and 2 more 10s is 39. Now you have 39 and you need to add 54 to it. Was that as easy as this one? No. So this one here is the easier one. They both equal 93. It's just that this one, using the associative property, was the easier one to add. So, it doesn't matter which associates are grouped together first, because they're still going to equal the same thing. Up here, I had the pink one, then the purple one, and then the blue one. What if we had the blue one, then the purple one, then the pink one? Then it would be 5 plus 12 plus 8. See? It's still going to be 25 total years if you added all their years up together. It's just easier to add the pink and purple one together first to get 20, and then add the 5. That's the associative property. So now we've done identity property, commutative property, and associative property. Now, if you notice, I underlined addition because there is an associative property of multiplication and others. So, this is addition. Okay? See you next video.